Inmates have a strict hierarchy for sex offenders, with rapists at the top, and the men who have molested small children at the bottom. They're known as chomos in jailhouse slang. Even in Fremont, there's nothing lower. When a sex offender comes in and they are a, um, a child molester, it is going to be a lot more difficult. So they're going to be the first ones that your other inmates try to um, come out and victimize. The instant they step into the saw house, the other inmates are looking at them, sizing them up, trying to determine what they're in here for, if they're going to be an easy mark, an easy victim, and see what they can get from that inmate. Yet one inmate on Fustini's cell block is unusually open about committing a sex crime. Inmate Mendoza pretty much stays to himself, even though he might not be the most muscular or the youngest or the biggest guy around. They know him. He's established himself. So he stays to himself, stays out of the mix, and he doesn't cause trouble for other inmates. They'll pretty much leave him alone. I guess based on his therapy and just the way he handles himself and, and just the person that he is, he does seem to be pretty confident about himself. Inmate Randall Mendoza was convicted of sexual assault and received a 16-year sentence. The victim of Mendoza's sex crime was a 12-year-old girl. She was the daughter of the woman he lived with, who was seriously ill at the time. And over the next two and a half years or so, it really got bad. And during that time, her, my stepdaughter, her daughter, I kind of allowed her to become my partner as far as helping around the house, because I was working seven days a week, 12 hours a day, and doing the cleaning and the cooking. And, and during that time, I ended up sexually assaulting her. I knew it was wrong, um, but it's like I didn't want to do anything, but what made me dangerous at the time is I still did what I didn't want to do. Even, I mean, it, I knew it was wrong and I couldn't stop myself. I was just so full of, you know, anger and stress and pushed to the end and I wasn't thinking. It was total. Uh, I, I, I was, I'm responsible for what I did because I allowed myself to get in that position. Mendoza only has one year left on his sentence, but he knows his crime will hang over him for the rest of his life. Sex offenders are singled out because they picked on the most innocent people there is. Their crime is the most heinous. My crime is heinous, even though I wasn't a two-year-old, but people look at that. They look at the age of the victim. They look what actually happened, what type of contact there was. Uh, if you if you en enjoyed it, or I mean, if you brag about it, how you walk about it. But for the most part, sex offenders, they just get off on victim victimizing people that um, can't fight back. Mendoza says he's speaking out so people won't stereotype all sex offenders but it puts him at risk. People in here really care about, they might be convicts or inmates or offenders, but they all have children. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous about what I'm taking the time of telling you about, but I feel there's a, a reason for it for me to educate people. But telling the truth sometimes comes at a price, and Randall Mendoza may have to pay.